All right, guys. Let's do this. New game. I like that moth. It's got like a skull on the back. Does that have to do with the Mothman prophecies? Or is that unrelated? This is going to be a huge shift in graphics after the last game. It has a play button. I guess I have to press a button. Okay. It all starts with a dead girl. Oh. And of course, let me know volume levels, guys. Run, girl, run! Dang, that reminds me of the intro to... What was that game that we just played recently? Uh, tell me why. On a bridge? About to get shot kind of thing? Ever since I was little, I've had this... dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon... Oh, thank you, Janie. Yeah, that sounds familiar. The gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. Is there somebody else there? Uh, well, Talking to us? That wasn't the only part. She no could use. People used to think I was strange. Use a shower. Just covered in filth. If they only knew. It was like staring into our soul. That day when the phone rang. It was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father. To dress him up for his last journey. Put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. This is a really nice looking game so far. <laughs> Just the intro. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Okay, so before we get started, I do have to enable auto-tune. Thank you very much, Max. Five minutes of auto-tune, John. Bam. Okay, let me just test out to make sure this is working okay. Test, test, yes. Okay, now also, question, how was the game audio? Was it working okay? Was it too loud, too quiet? Let me know. Seriously, Max, horror games in the dark with headphones on, the only way to do it. It's good, Janie, thank you. And thank you for the description of the Panini, too. All right, so, oh, it's so weird not moving with tank controls. I really like it. Okay, there's something right here. What's this? Over 1999, still in high school. 
October 2nd Memorial of the Holy Garden, the Angel. So this is the funeral for her father. Ultrasound. Our Lady of the Rosary. Biopsy. Send package to Mary Ann. A lot of stuff going on. Neurological visit. Then the funeral. Another funeral. Ultrasound. Neurological visit. And then November. All Saints Day. All Souls Day in surgery. Wow, October is packed. November. Wide open. But she does have surgery. Gosh, I remember Y2K. Everyone was so scared. Everything was going to break. And then not a whole lot really happened. Whether it's because they did good prep to get everything under control or it really wasn't going to be as bad as it was. Oh, kitty. Shit. Yeah. Nice to see you too. We're going to follow that kitty. Jack's room. It's like he never... Damn it. It does feel like it's a little choppy. I mean, with what we're doing right now, it doesn't hurt the gameplay, but it's definitely not running perfectly smoothly, if you guys can tell. Makes me want to kind of mess with a few of these. Let's see here. One thing I turned on, which... Honestly, I probably shouldn't, is the ray tracing. And then just for the hell of it, what was LPV again? Light volume propagation. It might be one of those settings that just wrecks your computer. That was set to off before. Let me try to turn that off. Let's see how that looks. See, now it's like much, much, much smoother. <laughs> Giggles, how is it going? Giggles, I'm doing fantastic. We actually just beat a retro horror game and we're starting a brand new one. How are you doing, Giggles? Hope you're doing well. Okay, let's check out these Jack medals. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. <laughs> I didn't turn on Panini, so we're okay there, Phantasma. Once I read the description, it was something we didn't need. Oh, there's something here, too. Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? This... Okay. Let's do this the other way. This feels very much like a um, adventure game so far. I like that. Oh, uh, hold left bumper to activate insight. That's cool. There you are. So what was that? A tie clip. Okay. And we also have the funeral home key. The last goodbye. Oh, <laughs> that's a cool name for a funeral home, to be honest. Morbid, but like fitting, I suppose. Oh, you guys even got a generator phantasma. Hopefully, you guys got use of the generator outside of the whole Y2K okay, thing. I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time I was to say goodbye. I was still in high school. My parents didn't do much of anything for Y2K. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack, he didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Oh, That's good though, Phantasma. It wasn't a waste of money. That's fantastic. I say it wasn't a problem there, Plocky, because you've never heard about this before. How old were you, Plocky, in 1999? If you don't mind me asking. Of course. Never feel like if I ever ask you your anything really, you're ever obligated to answer. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Yeah, <laughs> be nice, Kitty. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. To, well, that's probably why you don't remember it too much, Plucky, <laughs> to be honest. I don't remember anything from when I was two. But yeah, it was this thing where the idea of Y2K is that in all of the software at the time, a lot of times they took a shortcut with the year. So instead of in, internally, like in numbers, the year being like 1999, they wrote it as just 99 to save some space. 
Of course, what that meant was when it got to 2000, instead of going from 1999 to 2000, the year was going to go from 99 to zero, which certain programs and things use that for calculations. And then that was going to break stuff. But a lot of people were scared, like bank accounts were going to go haywire. Planes were going to fall out of the sky or 1900. Yeah, that too. Um, so people thought all kinds of terrible things were going to happen. And some people had to do some programming to fix some issues, but in general, it wasn't that big of a deal. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Oh, so the funeral Besides, home's right below us. If it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Um, it was more Phantasma of like, they assumed when they were programming software in like the 60s and 70s and way back then that um, this is never going to be used in the year 2000. <laughs> they didn't realize how cheap and lazy people were. They did keep using really old software for a long time. And of course, back then, I don't want to quite leave yet. Um, back then, you needed all the space you can get. So storing a number as two digits instead of three digits was a big deal. Oh, I can't actually go backwards. Never mind. I guess we're done exploring the house. Yeah, and Plocky, some people did literally think the world was going to end, but for those less radicals, it was more of a, oh crap, maybe computers will have some problems. Now, me personally, nothing in my life was affected by it at all. Yeah, that's kind of what, what I was thinking, Relentless. I didn't even feed the cat. Hopefully he's well fed already. Yeah, see, turning all that ray tracing on my computer really hurt the frame rate. Even though my video card can do ray tracing, it's too big of a hit. But on a high-end 30 series card, you could do that and still run at 60 frames per second. So many doors, but I can't interact with much. <laughs> I love that we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. I guess we're supposed to be going back out to the funeral Jack home. taught me to accept my condition. Ah, oh, this game looks cool. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Yeah, I just took one wrong turn, Phantasma, and left the apartment. Couldn't go back in. Okay, so now we're in the funeral home potion, right? This is a nice place. Although it looks really wet in the hallway, jeez. Yep, here's the funeral home. I would like a full-on just point-and-click adventure game with these quality of graphics. Jack's in the prep room. Is this the prep room? Yes, it is. Okay, let's do that last because that's where it wants us to go. Last time I went to the goal, I missed out on feeding the kitty. That's cool artwork. I like that. Oh, there's a note here. There's a few things here. Record of funeral. Name of deceased Adam Novak. Bunch of information about him. University student. Died in September 10th car accident. He needs a balming and dressing body. Let's see. It's nothing like Caitlin Doty's funeral home. Shameless plug for my favorite Arthur. You know, another, I guess, piece of media I really like the funeral home aspect was in the recent... Haunting of Hill House. They had a really cool funeral home scene there as well. Here it is. Nice. Oh, 
I guess I'm glad I didn't try to open up the prep room. We actually needed the key. There's us again. Our dad seemed like he was pretty cool. Even though we had some special mutant powers, he supported us. That's impressive, Plucky. Are you using um, headphones? I was going to say that could make it sound very realistic. Or you have some nice speakers. Isn't it, Plucky? In that episode, the whole thing takes place in like one cut, essentially. It just uh, it feels so real. I love how having no cuts really puts you in, like immerses you in everything. I think we're just going straight over here. Use the key. There we go. I want to rewatch that season. I actually like the second season of the show, too, but... I think I like the first more. <laughs> yeah, I bet that was miserable. <laughs> Luminous, how you doing, Luminous? Yeah, so a 32-bit clock. That would be using 32-bit integers. So it's going to have different limitations than they used to implement in even older hardware. But still, yeah, like uh, Max was saying, that in 2038. You hit that limit, and who knows what those are going to do. But it probably won't be that big of a deal. Okay, now this area is getting a little creepier. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this. I like that. Y2K2. <laughs> That's clever. But probably won't be nearly as hey, Jack. scary for most because we kind of went through one. We know what to expect. Yeah, so in Plucky in this game, we actually own and run a funeral home. There's our dad. Oh yeah, we have to put his tie clip on. Oh, we need a tie first, huh? I got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? Guessing it's in here somewhere. Aha! How convenient. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, before I finish up that, let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> they should, right, Janie? I agree. They do have a game about running a morgue. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. I think I have it on Steam, but I haven't tried it yet. This is what I do in real life. I only kill people by accident, but I don't deal with the dead bodies. <laughs> Just leave them there. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be... I've never had anybody, like, in my immediate family die since I was an adult. Not looking forward to the day I ever really have to deal with that. She had already left it there. That's true. We already had it. Okay, so let's put the tie on now that we put the clip on there. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. Like, my grandparents have passed away, but I was very young when that happened, so... I don't really remember the process at all. So I'm guessing he's already been embalmed and all that? Gosh, that'd be terrible to have to do that to a family member. people read 
The signs it's closed. <gasps> oh crap. <laughs> Not a normal visitor. I have no idea what the story or plot of anything in this game is. The only thing I know is that you get to control the game in like two realities at the same time. But I've avoided pretty much all media story or anything like that. Hello? Oh. Look at that. There's a creepy figure in the background. Do you see that? I guess that would make sense. We are the medium because we have that ability to kind of like see things that are kind of hidden. I don't know what else we can do. Hello? <laughs> this is cool. Just a shadow watching us. But as far as I know, our ability only lets us find hidden keys. <laughs> Follow me for more useful tidbits. A row? Don't like that. Hey, they're trashing the place. I just heard something break. Oh, yeah. The whole desk has been thrashed. Yes, you felt it too. There's a kitty. A kitty found us. Oh, they broke one of the urns. And then it happened. As it did so many times before. Uh oh. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that star notebook? Now we get the split reality. Marianne? Uh, oh, Marianne, are, are you... Are you crying, my child? Uh, Is that the figure we I, saw? Uh, it's fine, Jack. Now, now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Well, that's her dad. Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully, eh? Listen, Jack. You should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. It's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? He doesn't realize he's dead, does he? Why is it so cold here? <laughs> Generally, somebody who could talk to the dead. I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Oh, it doesn't turn out good for you. Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once uh, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I promise. Uh, no risky stuff, man. All right? What's crazy is she's... Right, Jack. Get some uh, rest. I, I she's still doing this in the real world. Yes, yes. Maybe be good, Marianne. So everyone else seeing it looks like she's crazy. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Hey, it looks like he might be going up to the light or something. Moving on. Yeah, working at a funeral home is probably perfect for her. Or terrible, depending on how you look at it. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. 
to say all the things that were left unsaid, but it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. Oh, this makes me think of Blackwell Legacy that we streamed. Where that's like your job is to go around and help all the ghosts move on. I used on. to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. No, it's just you. Sorry. But, no. I was the only one. Or so I thought. Now we just need our sassy ghost friend in a fedora. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. At... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. That's a creepy way to start. If this is a joke, I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. Doesn't it always? What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light. It's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? The Niwa Resort. Shit. Max, that'll be nice. With 64-bit numbers, we should never have another problem like that again. <laughs> A Bluebird Team production. I think they made... Uh, Blair Witch, that we also streamed. So, Luminous, a medium, if you're not mistaken, is like a stage or a place to be at, at the space between worlds, being that you can fade in and out seamlessly, or a platform, if you will. That makes sense based on the concept of the game. And it's like a supernatural side, while the psychic is more earthly. Oh, there we go. You guys know way more about this than I do. This is an interesting intro, like retro, like black and white footage. What are we even seeing? I like these statues. I don't know where we are. <laughs> oh, first day of school, Phantasma. Are you still doing remote or is this in class? But either way, wishing you luck, Phantasma. I hope it goes very smoothly. <laughs> Pretty much, right, Luminous? <laughs> and if it is in person, yes, 100%. Yeah, stay safe. It is back in person. You expect to be infected within three weeks? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I hope you can be as safe as possible, Phantasma. That's no fun. The media. That's a cool logo. I like how half is normal and half is kind of like decayed and creepy. You're going to have so much mask the students won't even be able to hear you. Do all the students have to wear masks where you're at? Or is it optional? And off I went on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts, and there was something about this guy, his voice. I felt like I should know him. He knew us. In a way. So. He sure seemed to know me. Oh, was it about time for you to go to bed too, Janie? <laughs> Just walk away slowly. Oh, could you imagine? 
What is he? Oh, just falls off. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna cut class short today. Oh no, Phantasma. So some folks might not be wearing them. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. So, what am I reading at the top there? It doesn't say Neva's Worker Resort. What language is this? What I know one of you guys probably know it and speak it. <laughs> I don't recognize that, of course. It's fun to jump between a Anyone retro home? game and a fancy not. new high-end game. Niwa says, hello. Is it Polish? Okay, I don't know if we have any Polish people in the stream, to be honest. We have people from all over the place, but I'm not sure about Polish. At least I don't remember. Can I read the back of this? Or I guess, can she re read it? Niwa says, hello. You would love it here, my dear. Amazing day room for kids and free art lessons. Lots of families. And the hotel is huge. I've never seen anything like it. Wish you could be here with me. Miss you. F. Oh, and Janie, you're saying you've been missing so many streams because you have a new doctor mandated bedtime. So reduce the auditory hallucinations you've been experiencing. Oh, geez. It's getting pretty serious then, Janie. If you're getting that kind of thing, yes. Be sure you you take whatever they prescribed you and get some good sleep. Get out of here. Get out of here. But Janie, take care. I hope that helps. Can't imagine what that's like. Jeez. And how long have you been on, I guess, this new regimen? Hopefully it is making a difference for you. The way this whole place is overrun, I feel like we're about to walk into Jurassic Park. Or it kind of looks like something out of The Last of Us. <laughs> oh no, Phantasm, you're just making the problem worse, huh? Just make sure there's nothing else to look at. Oh, there's a map here. And graffiti. Great. So a few months and it has 100%. And they have you on Antisotica. That's fantastic if it's helping, Janie. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, definitely get some rest. I know I definitely need <laughs> better sleep myself. Oh, have a good one, Phantasma. Thank you for the lurk. We can actually walk around the side here. You know what? I bet this is the way I'm supposed to go. So before we do that, I'm actually going to try to open up the other door. You know, I'm trying different buttons to see if there's like a run button. I don't think, I don't think there is. At least there's not a run button yet. Oh, yeah, this place is locked up. Locked up tight. I needed to find another way in. It looked like we could climb on the trash can over here. No naps. That's how I do it. I, I never take naps, but it does help me sleep pretty well, generally. When I do sleep, I go to sleep right away. We're going to have to do better than that. All right, we got in. Oh, dang, Janie. Six hours, that's an entire sleep for me. That's not a not nap. Not a whole lot of people knew about Neva. It used to be a government-owned vacation resort. Until one day, it just stopped. And so, an urban legend was born. The Neva Massacre. The details were always fuzzy. Crazed workers, ancient curses. You know, the usual. So now we can run with the left trigger. Looks like there's two ways we can go. I'm gonna try going to the left first. 
It looks like a little graveyard or something over here. Huh. What's this old thing here? Hey, these flowers and things kind of look fresh, don't they? Oh, what a mess. People can be such bastards sometimes. No wonder history keeps biting us in the ass. It's like there's a bunch of paint or something on top of that, all that. That's true. It might be the correct way, Plocky. <laughs> I always try to go the way I shouldn't go first, just to try to explore everything, but sometimes it backfires. In memory of the victims of World War II, 1939 to 1945, for the daughters and sons of the land, this might be easier, here they rest, buried as they fell, to remind us that the whole earth is their grave. Oh, I should use my special power. Can I? Oh, I guess I can't right here. Sometimes I can break it out and sometimes I can't. I'm not sure how to determine what the difference is. I think, I think that was it there. Is that a dead end? Yeah, it's a dead end. As is that. Okay, just one way to go. And this. Oh, oh. The hell? Random colorful clown ball? Like another ghost is trying to talk to us. Hold the left bumper to activate insight. Uh, hello. Oh, we can follow their footsteps. That's cool. Now, are these ghostly footsteps or like actual footsteps? They are ghostly. I was going to say her, her ability before actually showed us a real item when we found that necktie clip thing. Uh, where did the footsteps go? It looks like they keep going forward or maybe they stop right there. Oh, there they are. Oh, I can use both at the same time. It's kind of awkward on the left bumper and the left trigger at the same time. What's this? T plus K 1968. Do you guys hear that like Xbox beepy noise in the background or is it just me? I get it every once in a while and I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> you think they're ghostly? Probably. You guys hear? You know, there's some kind of like, because this is an Xbox Game Pass game. There's probably either my friends logging on and logging off, or it's like an achievement that's opening up. I'll have to check that out and be sure I mute all those sounds next time. Okay, where the hell did the footsteps go? Here we go. I don't use the Xbox uh, app on the computer very much, so I'm still kind of learning all that. There they are. Could be trophies. Yeah, they're not popping up on my screen. I think it's just happening in the background. Huh. I like the music. Looks like an old fort. Might be my way in. Very ominous. Or yeah, their achievements on Xbox, that's right. Actually, Microsoft kind of started the whole achievements trophies thing on the Xbox 360. I think that was the first one to do it. I think they're neat. I mean, they're not for me. I don't really spend time trying to get them. I don't go out of my way, but for those that like to collect them, that's freaking awesome. I think it's a cool idea. Gives you more gameplay out of the games you already bought, you know, if you if you need more goals, some special things to do. You know me, I 
start a game, play it, finish it, move on to the next. Did you max? Was that an easy platinum or was that pretty tough? Some of those games, it's like when you complete it, it's like a badge of honor because they're so hard to get all the achievements. Oh, we should probably check the warning sign. Warning, due to the recently unearthed remains, renovation works have been suspended pending archaeological examination. This is in English, not in Polish. Interesting. I mean, she could read it either way, I suppose. Something happened here. Looks like this place caved in. Yeah, I have a few games in my library on different consoles and PC, Max, that I have 100% completed. But it's only because the achievements were super easy. And you basically got them all just by beating the game. Oh no. <laughs> that sound. The split would come and go. If a place had a story to tell, well, I guess I was there to listen. I like her jacket in the, I guess is that the afterlife, the other realm, whatever we want to call it. The left arm looks like it's all shredded. Kind of cool. And I dig the white hair. I do wish they kind of did that, Plocky. They should give some kind of, like, credit for getting achievements, you know? But I think people would abuse that system really fast, unfortunately. But it would be neat to get something tangible for actually unlocking achievements. That's a good way of calling it. Just the medium world, yeah. That's probably going to open up the door, but what's over here first? Oh, what the, the hell's that? felt old and soaked in misery. Figures, I guess. A thousand what? years of history doesn't just happen. It's paid for. But even in the deepest darkness, light can linger. Lonely. Fragile. Waiting for someone to embrace it. I feel like I only focus on the medium world. I don't even look at the other side. <laughs> As I absorbed the energy, I wondered who it was that left it behind. What did we just a get? A dying soldier whispering the name of his beloved? Energy? Or maybe just glad to be done with this world. Is there some kind of, like, fuel that I'm burning by using that medium power? I don't know what it actually just replenished. Oh, is it my imagination, or are the... Shreds on our arm like white now. I thought they were just like the same color as the jacket before. Do you keep looking back and forth? I gotta do that because I might miss something in the regular world if I don't. Like right here? It almost looks like in the regular world we could easily just hop over this fence, but I'm going to. Okay, so there was like a switch over here. I figured I could use it. Energy's energy, right? Oh, here we go. Now it's talking about using a spirit blast. Oh, I bet I'm supposed to blast this power thing, huh? How does this work? Oh, so that worked. There we go. That was definitely an achievement. You, Marianne. These powers of mine, as much of a pain in the ass as they were, they did come in handy sometimes. So what's going to happen here? We've opened up one side, but the other side is blocked. You would think you would still be blocked if you can, couldn't go there in real life. Oh, there's a gate. Okay. And we're done. <laughs> Just like that. But without that electrical power, we never would have been able to open up the door. Looks like there's something over here. But I can't seem to get any closer. It looks like a window. I don't know why the camera angle changed. I feel like I should be able to do something there. So there I was, 
existing in two worlds, but never really living in either. Good old Metal Gear Solid. So many classic sounds. Caution, fire hazard. Gosh, you don't have to tell me twice. Living in California, everything's a fire hazard. Whole place is burning down. That one big fire, the Dixie Fire up north, I, they, they still don't have it under control. It's been like a month. It's just so huge and the weather keeps screwing things up. Dry weather, windy weather, that kind of thing. Oh, is that a deer? Didn't make it. What happened to this guy? Oh, what happened to you? It doesn't look like a gunshot or something. It looks like his flesh is just like cracked off. I don't know how to describe it. Let's see. You think it'd be impossible to have this power? Because you can see stuff on both worlds at the same time. Unless one world is one eye and the other one. Yeah, that would be tricky, huh, Plucky? I didn't think about that. What does it actually look like to her? Or maybe she only sees the medium world, but it goes split screen so we can still see her in the real world kind of thing. Let's see, I don't see any clues with our ability. Well, we're probably going to find out what happened to that deer. Yes, like porcelain, how it just cracked on the neck. Exactly. Didn't look like a bite or a slash mark or anything. Just cracked. Okay, it looks like it's forcing me that way, so I'm going to go this way. <laughs> I'm going to go the wrong way. Another gravestone right here. What the hell? That was too close. You were almost a jill sandwich. <laughs> Resident Evil, I love it. Okay, here's another one. Why is there a creepy monkey with the you know symbols up there? Don't like that. Can't do anything with it. Interesting that there was nothing to read. It was more just like world building area to check out. Okay, let's keep going this way. Oh, that's a crazy angle. That's what it would look like if someone in the trees was spying on you. is a huge building. Oh wow, now we're just in the other world. Not even split. Nate, what, what is up, Nate? You, See you, dude. The aura in that place. We're just going a little I crazy in this game. Like it, but never this intense. Notice there's an arrow like on the floor. Memories, emotions. And none of them good. This is a huge resort. What's going on, Nate? How was the rest of your weekend? Let's check the trash. Trash tells us all the stories. Nope, <laughs> nothing there. Yeah, this was a hopping place. Look at the size of just the parking lot. Oh, you just got home from an escape room. How did you guys do? Did you escape uh, successfully? or And what was the theme of it? I'd love to hear about escape rooms. Broad Horizons from 1993. You tell me this thing has been here for six years? New Soviet spacecraft soon to depart. Handheld mobile phones? The future of communication? Yeah, that's a understatement. 
global eradication of smallpox, the greatest medical achievement of our times. Well, hopefully we're going to have a better one pretty soon here. You won at the last second and it was Mission Impossible? That must have been so exciting. Right at the very end, you succeed. Right on. Did you guys have to ask for any hints or were you able to do it all on your own? Sometimes I swear these escape rooms are almost unbeatable without hints. Because kind of like a poorly designed, you know, adventure game, their clues are just so bad you just can't put two and two together. Logically, anyway. You're just like, how the hell was I supposed to do that? Hey, old timer. Now, what's a fine machine like you doing in a place like this? There's a, um, a butterfly right here. That's interesting. You got a couple, but you got really far without them. That's awesome. It feels so... It feels so satisfying when you actually complete it, doesn't Doubling it? Doubling as a spare bedroom, apparently. Oh, somebody's living in here? Neva Work. Let's see this. My love. Summer in full swing. The resort is stuffed to the gills. And you know what that means. More work for yours truly. But it's good work. Honest work. Mr. Rekowix said he'd like to keep me on. Can you believe it? I won't screw this up. Not this time. Promise. And then what's this over here? I hope you don't oh. mind if I uh, pop your trunk. <laughs> what do we have to check in the trunk for? Gosh. Perfect timing. <laughs> Yeah, usually in those things, Plocky, um, sometimes they'll give you like a walkie-talkie or something, so you have to purposely ask for hints. Other times, because you're being monitored like crazy in escape rooms, they have cameras and microphones everywhere. Um, they don't want you breaking their stuff and, you know, wrecking the puzzles. So you can sometimes just ask or say a keyword. <laughs> What's the safety word? <laughs> Banana. And then you ask for a hint. Not oh. much here. We'll get a tool though. Although, this could come in handy. Got a screwdriver. Ow! Jeez. What the hell? Did not mean to do that. <laughs> that would be great. You say banana and just banana, like a Chiquita banana falls from the sky. What the hell do I do with this? Yeah, the last escape room we did, it was really cool until one particular puzzle near the end. We went into this new room. It was like on a pirate ship and they were hiding like a note, like a piece of paper. It was all wound up kind of like up and behind some wood where um, it wasn't really visible to the naked eye just from looking around the room. And it was at a place my wife couldn't even hardly reach. So... I think it was just a really poorly placed clue and we couldn't progress without it. So we kind of got screwed on that one. They had some other clues in the room that had like something that kind of made you look in a place that you normally couldn't access. If they had something like that, that would have been awesome. I thought that would have been clever, but the way they did it, there's no way to know to look for that. So I, I imagine very few people actually get that unless you're actively trying to tear the place apart. That's right, Nate. You did work in an escape room. So the one you were at, there was an intercom you pressed in to call them. See, that's cool. You have to really purposely ask for it. You can't just kind of say it underneath your breath and then they give you a hint and you really didn't want one yet. Oh, there's like a hopscotch thing over here, too. I sent something. Oh, I should use my thing. Oh, yeah, there's like the footprints on there. That's cool. Of course, I can't see them anywhere else. Okay, I think we're ready to go in the front entrance. Oh, there's a payphone here, too. Phone is ringing. Oh, so it is. Hold left bumper and move to find the echo. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> oh, is that the echo right there? I'm here. No, there's definitely something. Trust me, 
You made the right call sending me. Hmm. Yes. It's only a matter of time. I have no idea what that all was. Even hearing... the objects here had auras. As a previous conversation. When I touched them, I could sense their stories. Words, images, feelings left behind. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, this place is massive. Okay, that just kind of wraps back around to the parking lot. I mean, I like to say, like, oh, maybe it's not worth to, like, look everywhere, but we did get the screwdriver by exploring, which we probably needed right here. Hello? Anybody in there? We might need it to break in. Oh, I just saw something move. Locked. Obviously. There's got to be another way. Wonder. We probably can't use our screwdriver on the lock. Ooh, there's something up there. Ah. I think there's a broken window up there. If only I could reach it. The hell are we getting up there? Oh, here's another door. We can use our screwdriver there because the doorknob was missing. Sweet. So began the great dumpster heist of 1999. Oh, are we in like the garbage room? <laughs> this place must smell great. Oh, the tree kind of blocks us off from anything. What was the point of coming in here? Oh, here's something we can do. Oh, we can push this out and climb onto the dumpster. There we go. I'm starting to get tired of your shit, Neva. <laughs> you better be worth it. From what I remember, wasn't this game originally like an Xbox exclusive? Maybe it came out to PC too, but I think as far as consoles, maybe this was one of the first like Xbox exclusives on the new consoles. Which is probably why it's on Game Pass. Gosh, watch out for that glass. Jeez. That's not too bad of a drop, is it? <laughs> it reminds me of that scene from Last of Us 2. Splat! Oh, she's got it. Alright, we are inside the hotel. Oh, look at all this stuff. A shoe! Oh, should I be looking for an echo? There it is. <laughs> Forgot about that. It's a shoe. I thought it was. So it's true. <laughs> what? The Neva massacre. I thought I was going to be hearing about like, a story get about the it. Hell out of here. Like, oh man, these shoes are killing me. No, we just hear blood curdling screams the whole time. <laughs> Plucky. I love that emote. Bat boy. That's fantastic. You can still find those crazy tabloid magazines at the grocery store. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Relentless. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> this is true, and it still holds true. It's just maybe that's like our new video game trope. You see a shoe all by itself. Beware. <laughs> you don't want a random shoe. <laughs> that was amazing. 
Agreed, Nate. I, I don't know how you do it, Relentless. That was fantastic. Hello? Anyone? Thomas? You there? I often feel that way at work, where it's like I can't remember some important things that I've done before and it should just come to me. But then I can remember some actor in some obscure movie I saw once, kind of thing. Spring, news information and practical advice for the modern lady. Mm. The Forefathers Wells, a new literary bestseller by Joanne, oh God, Chikimelewski. Readers ask, experts respond. 10 sewing techniques for fashionable skirts. Very retro women's magazine. Travel in style, travel in comfort. Oh, she's placed her are so detailed, it's like I don't know where I should be going first. Yeah, that's a dead end, it looks like. What about this door right here? No? There's a creepy flashing light over there. Don't like that. Oh, we can read it from this side. That's the important thing right there. Sinners be damned. Oh, we can check out some names. I can't read much of those names in cursive, but below it says, Here, where is Mike Enslin for 10 years? Oh, wait, there we go. There's the names. Brunin Kowalski, Helena Smock, Victoria Maurer, and Boris Zelazo. Oh, for Pedro. <laughs> Isn't that... Uh, is that Napoleon Dynamite? Is that Vote for Pedro? Or is that something else? I haven't seen that movie since it came out. Vivian. It is Vote for... I wonder if that was a reference to that or just random. What the hell? Oh, it's a reflection. I thought there was something in that other room for a second. It looked kind of like bars, you know? <laughs> yeah, sinners be bonked. Guys. Quality time by the lake. <laughs> oh, God, put him down. <laughs> He's way too young for that. Oh, we got another one. Promotion, this one says. Oh, so these are like a series of postcards back to family. My dearest... I know I promised to visit, but guess what? I got promoted. Yes, really. Meet the new chief of staff. I really think this might be it. A fresh start. A place to call home. For us, I mean. You, me, the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but just think about it. Yours forever. F. <laughs> yeah, not just quality time, but quality time by the lake, Relentless. I'm always so... Oh, man. It's like I want to replay Harvester with you guys. I want to replay Unavowed. But we also have so many awesome new games to try. It's like, oh, I got to pick my battles here and there. Maybe Harvester would be a good uh, Halloween October game to do again. We've had so many new folks join us since we streamed it last. I feel like we have to introduce it to them. Uh-oh. What do we find? Just a stray flashlight. That's all. This reminds me of a scene out of Silent Hill, too. Hello? Which we also screamed. Thomas? Someone at the front desk. Easy, what did Marianne. What'd you just get? Just a good old-fashioned haunted hotel. Calm your ass down and answer the bell. You would think most of this wouldn't even phase her anymore. She's probably seen it so much working at a funeral home. Max, what did you get bonked for? 
Hope it was good. Hello? There's the bell. We're going to have to check out the other world to see what this was. Harvester is definitely wild AD time. There's that ball again. He might be Plocky. He might be. And they use a phone? Which world was she in when she answered the phone? Oh, jeez. That sound effect is so jarring. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, dear God. You Kill it with fire. I did, didn't I? You look real scared. <laughs> I'm sadness. Marianne. Sadness. Is that your name? I mean, you seem pretty cheerful to me. that music in the background. Well, it's what I remember. Um, my friends used to call me by a different name. Brum, brum. I don't remember what it was. Your friends. Oh, yeah. I used to have a lot of friends here. Uh, but they're all gone now. Like your arm? Something happened to them? Mm, uh, well, uh, uh, I don't really want to talk about it. Th that's okay. So, do you live here? All by yourself? <laughs> you wouldn't believe how boring it gets sometimes. I can imagine. This place must have been... Oh, yes. So busy. People coming and going all the time. <laughs> How long ago was that? Someone to play with. Must have been nice. It was. Not anymore. So. Tell me. What happened? Uh, I, I remember. People Fatality. <laughs> Poor little girl. A few of them stayed. It's true. But they became very sad. Very angry. They might hurt you. <laughs> Thanks. But I can take care of myself. Hey, I was wondering, have you seen... Marianne? <laughs> yes. Trixie little girl. Would you play with me? Just... It's been so long since I played with anyone. Oh, okay, okay. But I need your help first. Yes. Uh, yes! Uh, anything I'm you can! for a man. Thomas. Do you know him? Uh, let me think. Uh, I've heard that name before. Uh, Take your time. So... Do all dead people wear that mask? Our dad had the same thing. The second floor. We can look there. Come on. Hurry, oh, wait. Man. I can't go that way. Damn. Oh, because the real life staircase there somehow. doesn't continue. Okay, there is a limitation. Yeah, see if we walk up here. Oh, and it's like kind of blocked off in the other world too. That's interesting. So Max, you were asking Nate if, uh, or asking if Nate would want to have sword time, giggity, with a bad male character, Nancy Drew. Did you get bonked pretty bad? <laughs> That's great. Sword time. So we have to find a way up there. This is pr Hi. probably an elevator. Might as well see if it works. We'll do that next time. This is probably a good stopping point. It's already almost 1020. <laughs> it's probably a good time to wrap it up. But I'm digging this so far. It's going to be interesting. We haven't had any kind of combat or anything yet. I don't know if there is combat. My guess, based on the speed of the game and our inventory, is that it doesn't have combat per se. It might be more of like a run and hide and survive type of horror game, which I'm also very, very down for. So let's go ahead and it should, I think it just saves automatically. Oh yeah, one minute ago. 
i like when they do that.